Hello, my dear friends. How are you? Hope everybody will be doing well. Let's start today's class, and I have a new video for you, my dear friends. Okay. So welcome all of you. My name is Harir Purohit, and today's class we will be discuss about what? Yes, it is equation in two variable. It is in standard nine, chapter four. It is there. Okay, my dear friends. So my dear friends, always I told you before going to any lesson, please clear your funders. Okay. So my dear friends, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel, share it, comment it, and. Press the bell icon so that you are getting the new videos from my side. Okay, let's start today's class. That is what equation here to be. My dear friends, in the standard eight, we are studying about equation in one variable. What is equation in one variable? Two x plus four is equal to zero. This is called as equation in one variable. What is the meaning of equation in one variable? Means is In the simple word, you can say that a single alphabet must be there. Okay, but here equation in two variable means what? There must be two variables. Two alphabet must be there. Example: If I write here two x plus three y is equal to zero, then I will say this one is called as what? Equation in two variable. But here. The equation in two variable will be specified like this. What is that? The rule is a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Suppose if I write it here, two x is equal to minus one. Or or if I write here, two x minus one is equal to zero. This is the one example I am written for you. We will be discuss in the second term, but let's have a easiest one. What is that? Two x plus three y minus five is equal to zero. Now these two are the in the same combination form. If I write any equation in this format, in this format, then I will say that. That particular equation is called as equation in two variables. Here, if I compare these two, a is equal to two, b is equal to three, and c is called as minus five. Here, x is x and y is equal to y. So, if I represent this one, if I represent this one. Into a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero in this format, and I will say that this is called as a equation in two variables. Clear your funda, my dear friends. Okay. Now come to this one. Come to this one. I just did everything so that you can answer it. Now if I write like this, a x already it is there. Two x is B Y or combination of anything is there? Nothing is there. So what you have to write? Zero point Y. Means zero multiplied with Y. If I multiply any number or any alphabet with zero, then what is the result? It is zero. Next minus one is equal to zero. Now this format is called as equation in two variables by referring this one. Here A is equal to two. B is equal to zero, C is equal to minus one. Understood, my dear friends? So this is the all about the funda about the equation in two variables. Understood? Okay. Next, discuss exercise four point one so that your doubt will be getting clear, my dear friends. Okay. Okay. Now come to the exercise two point one. What exercise two? Uh, sorry, exercise four point one. Sorry, exercise four point one. So let's see the question. What is what are the question it is given? So here are some some of the exercise four point one is given. It's saying that the cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen. E again, I am reading the question, my dear friends. It's saying that the cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen. Write a linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. So how how I will write this one? 
here already a notes is given for us take the cost of a note is a notebook is x and that of the pen will be y so cost of the pen cost of notebook is x and cost of pen is equal to y it is already given but what is the equation uh, what is the another statement okay more statements are written there let's have it have a look the cost of a notebook is twice the cost book of pen cost book cost of notebook is twice of pen now this is the equation i am forming here this is the equation in one variable but here the statement is represented like this okay now again is saying write the linear equation in two variable to represent this statement so let's write this one in ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 anybody yes i can write it. here x means what i am repeating here x if x how the x will come in what is the value of a must a will be here yes it is 1 one time of any number is called as that number only okay plus b y b y what 2y plus c is not there so 0 is equal to 0 understood my dear friends so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 0 here understood like this manner i have to worry write the statement in equation in two value how it is easy my dear friends only one thing is that you have to remember the fund okay my dear friends let's go to what is that question number in question number 2 is saying that express the following linear equations equations in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 i have to convert all the expression in ax plus by plus c okay how it will be question number 1 2x plus 3y is equal to 9.35 bar means here 35 is continuing 0.35 is continuing here. So how should I write here? Write it in the form of this equation in two variable. Two x plus three y. This one is plus. When it's coming to the opposite side of equal symbol, it will be yes. It is minus three five is equal to zero. Now this is the what equation in two variable. Here a is equal to two, b is equal to three, c is equal to minus nine point three five bar, and x is equal to x, y is equal to. How it is easy, my dear friends. Like this manner, you have to be what express all the statement in the equation in two variable form. Okay, okay. Now, what is the second one? What is the second bit represent states? Yes, the second bit is represent as saying that x minus y by five minus ten is equal to zero. How should I represent this one? It is easy. X x, but what is a? Any number is multiplied with one is that number only? Yes or no? So one time of x minus one by five y minus ten is equal to zero here. Now this is the expression I have written in the form of what? Linear equation in two variables. Okay, your a is equal to one, b is equal to minus one by five because it is in the form plus. Your minus is that. C is equal to minus f, and x is equal to x, y is equal to y. So this is the statement I have to written in the form of linear equation in two variables. Okay. Next, let's go to the fourth bit. What the fourth bit is saying about? The fourth bit is saying about x is equal to three y. Can I write this one into the uh, linear equation in two variable form? Yes, we have already discussed it. Okay, so what it will be? Now change it minus three y plus c is nothing is there, so I can write it plus zero is equal to zero. Okay, so here x is there means one time of x minus three y plus zero is equal to zero. Then a is equal to one, b is equal to minus three, c is equal to zero. So like this manner, I have to be represent all the statements, all the Statement in equation in linear 
very good form. So these are the some of the question I have discussed with you. So my dear friends, please solve the rest of the statement in linear equation in two variables so that you can understood how it will be solved. Okay, my dear friends. So my dear friend, this is the whole class for today. Okay, in today's class we have discussed about what, how, what is the linear equation two variable. And how will be written the linear statement in two variable in ax plus by plus c form? So, my dear friends, please practice it. Send your comment, uh, send your doubt in my comment section, and please subscribe my channel so that you will get in the what new video. But you have to press the bell icon. Okay, my dear friends. So in the next class, we will be studying about what exercise 4.2 of chapter 4 about lean equation in two variable okay linear equation two okay my dear friends thank you have a nice day